Hello and welcome to this tutorial brought to you by Adobe Tutorial Man. So I'll be teaching on Adobe Dreamweaver CS4. I'm going to be teaching on how to import an image. And that's about it. And let's get started. Create an HTML. Alright, and we'll make a format. We'll run the properties and click format. And we're going to click heading 1. I'll name this and check out this site it's pretty cool and it's pretty much mine I made it myself media chicago.com probably didn't spell that right pretty small time time yeah that's right and that's my uh, website uh, that's a beginner. I'm going to be making a new website on Adobe Tutorial Man. So yeah, check out that. And we'll make this underline. Right click it and go into go into Elgin and Center. And also right click and go on Style. We want this to be underlined. Underline. All right. So there's pretty much a couple ways of importing an image. To Dreamweaver, you can go one in, one way is to go into insert image and put your image right there. I'll put a couple of them up there. And if you want to move it, go into right click it, Elgin. We want this to be on the right. We want this to be. Oops, what just happened? Alright, you want this, copy, uh, we don't need to make it go in the center, that's probably why it's not so, there you go, and I'll shrink this, I'll just shrink it, right click, I mean I'll just click on it, and just lower it, 4, and make it 550, 540, ah, Alright, so there's that. And another way is to right click it, page properties. And this is if you want to, re it's like a background image, so you can't get rid of it. So we click on background image. And I have one. Uh, it's in my desktop. And it's called a color. No. Uh, and if you want it to be a really big one, it, it depends if it's long in length, if it's long in height. So. We're going to say repeat X. Okay. So there you go. There's that. And another way of controlling your uh, image, say if you have a writing, say if you want to write beside an image, I'll import another image. That's the easiest way for me. Uh, I'll make, go on the website, image. I think red would be good. Red cancel. Alright, so say if you want to put it. Jeez. Oops. Where did that piece go? 540. 480. 480. Oh, uh, see, since it's not moving, we need to go in the um, Elgin. We need to click right. If you want it to be on the left, Elgin, left. And this way you can write on side. So, like, you can put uh, format, heading. You can put about this, about these pictures, pictures. Oops. Got these pictures. Underline them. Go into select the whole mall. Select the the whole um, sentence. So we're going to go into style. Right click it. Style. Underline. All right. So now if we enter and say, I took this picture. Picture. Yes. Today. 
so yeah, we'll take this picture one day ago, and you can, oh no, you can go in the style, bold, so yeah, um, I'll also teach you something else to make this tutorial longer. If you want to make one of those like home and those kind of pages stuff, and you want to make it bold, all right? So we're gonna, we're gonna click home, and then you're gonna click shift. Underneath the backspace button is that slash and the, those two dots above the enter. Click that, and I'll give you two of those line things. And I'll put flash, flash tutorial. Tutorials. That number Photoshop. Tutorials. 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 And last one, Dream. Dream. Yeah, Dream Weaver. Tutorials. So there you go. That's the end of this tutorial. I uh, showed you how to in import a picture on page properties. I showed you how to insert an image on insert. And here's another one. Just click on insert image. That's another way. Instead of going to insert file. So yeah, there you go. Uh, that's about it. Comment me saying that if you want me to do on something else. Alright, check out this website www.multimediachicago.com. It'll be in the description. And bye.